Inner Humility. Fight Against Spiritual Arrogance. Men truly remain behind in their spiritual development when they do not make an effort of inner humility because then they lack favor, and without favor their will to ascent is weakened. Because then their nature is still arrogant and still inclined towards the opponent of God. To lack inner humility will also rarely accept a divine teaching when it is imparted to him through fellow men because his arrogant spirit resists it through the influence of the adversary. And divine teachings strengthen the power to resist as soon as they are willingly accepted. Consequently the power of resistance of that man is only small. There is still too much of the spirit in him, which is to be overcome, man still has too much of the defects, which mark his imperfection. He will also not be meek and patient as long as he does not want to bow before him whose approach he is to strive for. Because God cannot unite with a being, which still carries the arrogant spirit of its producer in itself. Man must lead a constant fight with this arrogant spirit in him, he must educate himself to humility through service, he must strengthen his will to do what seems to be impracticable to him to bend and to serve where he would like to rule. He must take an example from his divine Redeemer, whose life was one of service in love, a service in deepest humility towards his fellow man. If the human being makes an effort to follow Jesus then he will also practice inner humility, he will fight all arrogance, he will constantly appeal for God's grace to do so, and the strength to carry out his intention will come. To him, he will serve and thereby develop himself upwards. Amen.